Welcome to the third part of Smart Connections Getting Started video. Today we'll explore the Smart Connections configuration window with a special focus on the Element Position section. This functionality allows us to position our selected elements on a host's selected face, customizing quantities, spacing, and location according to our preferences. The Layout and Array settings function like element positioning on a coordinate system. We select the starting point for the elements and then adjust spacing and other parameters. In this video, we will examine this in detail. The Element Position section consists of Layout and Array, which have similar offset settings. This determines whether the placement direction of our selected families is vertical or horizontal. Both Layout and Array have similar settings for precisely adjusting the vertical and horizontal positions of families on our selected face. However, there can be differences when the layout is vertical and the array is horizontal. This depends on the selected element's face and category. For example, if we decide to place families on the wall start face, the layout orientation will be vertical. On the other hand, if we choose the exterior or interior wall face, the layout will be horizontal. The same applies to other element categories too. To become more familiar with the software, you can use the apply button to see where your family will be placed or for a more detailed explanation, please follow the link below the video. We'll cover a few samples from various categories to provide clarification. In layout or array selections, the initial step is choosing where you want your families to start from, such as center, start, end, or both start and end points. Another option is to place families based on a gravity point. As demonstrated, when I moved the opening to the other side, the software recalculated the centroid and subsequently adjusted the positions of my families. According by the direction settings, we'll have certain offset options available. For example, by the gravity point option, we're not able to set any offsets, as software automatically calculates it. Otherwise, the software will not be able to calculate the centroid accurately. It is important for both the host materials and the hosted families to have materials assigned with density values continuing with the other direction offset settings. If we choose center position for point-based families, we will set layout side to set the offset distance. The entered value will move the families vertically on the wall's top face. If we set centered array direction, array side setting will move the families horizontally. In this case, families are relocated from the host center to the center of the structural connection spacing. For start or end, we have same offset options available, meaning that families are placed from the selected host's edge. If the value is zero, the family is placed at the host's edge, aligned with the family's location point. The added value will move the families from the selected host's edge. For start and end directions, place families at the start and end face edges. This means if we want to place one family, we'll have one at each end. If we place two families, there will be four families and so on. After that, you can adjust the offset settings based on the selected direction. It's important to note that for different categories, the definitions of start and end can vary. Here's a simple guide on how to identify the starting or ending points of a wall. Moving forward with another element category regarding the start and end explanation. In structural framing, elements left and right, as well as start and end directions, depend on the direction in which the element is drawn. This impacts not just the start or end, but also the left and right sides. For the final points on point-based family placement positioning, we will discuss the rules settings based on the selected direction. Layout and array settings are identical so we will focus on layout positioning. With the gravity point selection, there are two rules fixed number and fixed spacing. These rules place families based on the calculated gravity point and the values entered in the fixed number and fixed spacing fields. Fixed number and relative to length rule. It will place the selected number of elements at distances relative to the face length, symmetrically around the gravity point of the host element. For example, if you choose three elements with a distance of 0.5, the distance between these three elements will be half the face length.
the center direction has no rules. For this direction, we set the fixed number, and spacing is defined from the host's face center to both ends of the host's face. For example, a spacing of 300 will keep the spacing at 300 by moving families 150 millimeters to both ends of the element's face. Start and end directions follow the same rules. One of them, similar to the gravity point direction, includes fixed number and fixed spacing. The other rule distributes elements along the entire length of the face, either to the start or end direction, fitting as many elements as possible based on the entered fixed spacing value. The start and directions have an additional rule maximal spacing. This rule distributes elements starting at the start and offset points, maintaining the distance between them as close as possible to the defined maximal spacing. Additionally, we can define where these families will start or end. Regarding the line-based family positioning, it is simpler. We set the direction from where our desired family should begin, then enter the distance for how long the family should be. The same direction rules apply as for point-based families. The difference lies in the start and end direction when using the fixed number rule. In this case, the software will place the family across the entire length of the face. And that concludes the element positioning section for point and line based families. It's important to note that layout and array positioning may vary depending on the category of the element's faces. It's crucial to identify the start or end face of your hosts. Always use the apply button to verify this. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to sharing more insights in the next part.